Hi, welcome. My name is Steve Baker. I am at Data Center Networking TME here at Aruba. And this video is a quick start series video. This is part five in a series designed to introduce new users to the AOS CX switching platform. So let's jump right into it. So when we're talking about the Aruba CX switching platform, we really do have a switching platform that leverages one operating system and one model that can be stretched from end to end in a customer's environment. So campus and data center environments, campus access aggregation and core, all the way to the data center spine and leaf solutions. We can see the portfolio here. We actually have the CX8400 at the top, which has the larger buffers and larger table sizes. The CX6400 is a newer campus focused aggregation style, high density modular chassis that I'll talk about today. And then of course, at the bottom, we have the CX8300 switch series, which is targeted for data center top of rack environment, as well as the 6300 series, which is a PoE access layer campus switch, but also used commonly as out of band switch in data centers. Today I'll be talking about the CX 6400s. It consists of two chassis options, a 6405 and a 6410. We have a number of line cards that are available for these modules, which I'll go over later. And of course they leverage the AOS CX operating system. These are very flexible switches in that they're capable of being placed in data centers as well as campus environments. They are capable of stretching from simple one gig PoE all the way up to 28 terabits. They are able to provide us with data center class non-blocking, dynamic segmentation, as well as a distributed architecture with no oversubscription. They are capable of supporting up to 480 PoE ports, and they even support HPE smart rate, as well as 60 watts and always on PoE. They are capable of 2.8 terabits per slot, and we're scaling to 20 billion packets per second and the interface ranges from 1 gig to 100 gig. And of course switches like this would also require high availability and we're able to provide that using the modular uh, switch itself as well as coupling that with the Aruba VSX switch virtualization solution which allows us to provide live upgrades uh, while traffic is flowing without anybody even knowing. Now looking a little closer at the 6400s, we can look in the upper right. The bezel has been removed on that switch, and so you can actually see the power supplies that are installed. So the power supplies are installed in the front, and then the power cords connect into the back. Right below that, you'll see the where the management modules are placed. So there's, there are two half-width management modules that control the uh, OS for the switch. Of course, they provide access to the switch, the management module, the USB-C and the RJ45 ports. And then, of course, on the right, we can see the various locations for all the line cards, which I'll go over. But we've got a number of line cards, smart rate line cards. So these support 1 gig, 2.5 gig, 5 gig. And of course, we scale all the way up to 10, 25, 40, 50, and even 100 gig interfaces. Taking a look at the back, it's a nice clean back. It's filled up with the bottom uh, with the fan trays and the top row is our power inlet bay. So this is where you can see where the power cords would be connected. And this is a great view exploding out those modules so we can see uh, what it looks like when those modules are installed. Now the fabrics on the 6400 switch series are embedded into the back plane. So on the 6405 we're leveraging a single fabric that services the line cards one through five. And then on the 6410, we're leveraging two fabrics that service line card one through five, and then six through 10. So take a look at the management module here. This is the half width management module, which slides into the front of that switch. Of course, it provides all the LEDs and the USB console ports, the RJ45 console ports for access and information. And it runs the AOS CX operating system, leverages a time series database, and it also uh, has the Aruba Networks Analytics Engine built into it. The management modules control the chassis hardware, the ASICs on the line cards, as well as the protocols and the, the tables. Now this management module has 16 gig of DDR4 and 32 gig of flash. Communication between the management modules occurs on the back plane via a 10 gig interface. 
And then, of course, we can see the interface, the physical interfaces, RJ45, USB Type-A, and an RJ45 and USB-C. So for power supplies on the 6400, we have two different power supplies. This switch provides PoE, so we want to be able to choose the appropriate power supply to give the uh, needed PoE power needed for that solution. Um, each power supply actually comes with the inlet adapter that I showed you that's installed onto the rear of the switch. They're capable of delivering up to 60 watts of PoE, and they have been 80 plus platinum certified. So the two power supplies that we have are the 1800 watt power supply and the 3000 watt power supply. So when we're operating at 3000 watt, I mean at high line power, the 3000 watt power supply can provide up to 3000 watts of power. And at low line, it would be 1500 watts of power. And the 1800 watt power supply can provide 1800 watts at high line at 1100 at low line. So the fan tray, these are the fan trays that sit into the back of the switch. The 6405 utilizes two of these fan trays, each of which have four fans built into them. And the 6410 leverages four of these fan trays. The uh, switch actually periodically reads the temperatures that, uh, with sensors that are located throughout the system. And it uses those readings to adjust the fan trays so that we can optimize the cooling throughout the switch. And you can see from the image here, we actually have a front to back airflow with the 6405. Taking a look at the interface line cards. So these are our access interface line cards. These are all the PoE line cards. We can see on the upper row are the class four PoE modules. So on the upper left, we have a 48 port, one gig class four PoE module. And on the upper right, we have a 48 port, one gig class four PoE module. But this switch also has four uplinks, which can be leveraged at 10 gig, 25 gig, or 40 gig. I'm sorry, 50 gig. And then on the bottom row, we have our class six PoE line card. So on the bottom left, we have a 48 port, one gig class six PoE module that has those four SFP56 uplinks. And on the lower right is the class six PoE module, but this is the smart rate module that supports one gig, 2.5 gig, and five gig interfaces. And here we have the aggregation and core modules for the 6400 series. On the top row, we can see a couple 24 port 10 gig options, a 10 gig base T option on the left, and an SFP plus option on the right. And both of those also come with the four SFP 56 uplinks. And then on the bottom row, on the bottom left, we have our 48 port 25 gig module, which also supports 10 gig. And on the lower right, we have our 12 port 100 gig module, which of course also supports 40 gig. So this is a great chart showing you the scale and the line cards available for the 6400 series. So each of the switches support two management modules. They each support four power supplies and four AC inlet bays. The 6405 has the two fan tray bays and the 6410 has the four. And then of course the 6405 supports five line cards and the 6410 supports 10. And at the bottom we can see the line cards that I just went over as well as the uplink speeds that are uh, on those particular line cards, as well as the front plane and back plane capacity of those cards. And finally, I'll leave you with a list of SKUs that are orderable for the 6400 switch series. Uh, at the top, we could see the two switch chassis themselves, the 6405 and the 6410. That's ROX 26A and 27A. But then right below that, you can see in bold, we actually have a few bundle SKUs that you could purchase that come with components bundled into it. So ROX 29A is a CX6405 switch that has two fan trays and one management module, as well as a 48 port class four line card and another 48 port class four PoE line card that also has four ports of SFP56 interfaces. Right below that is the ROX 30A so this is also another 6405 switch, but this one's bundled with 10 gig interfaces. So it's got 48 ports of 10 gig SFP plus, as well as eight ports of 50 gig SFP 56 interfaces. And then finally, we have a bundle for the 10 slot 6410. This comes with four fan trays and one management module, 
as well as one 48-port Class 4 PoE line card and another 48-port Class 4 PoE line card that also has four ports of SFP56 interfaces. And then, of course, below this, we can see the various management modules, fan trays, power supplies, rack kits, and all the line cards I mentioned. So I hope that was some good information that you could take away for the 6400 Switch Series. Please uh, stay tuned to the YouTube Airheads Broadcasting Channel for more and additional quick start videos. Thank you.